It's a great honour to receive this award. Uh, it's particularly exciting to be receiving an honour outside my own country. Uh, one's conscious as a national judge uh, that one has some influence in one's own country, but to realise that decisions that one's made and cases one has been involved with have been appreciated in other countries is particularly pleasant, I have to say. And bearing in mind the close relationship between Ireland and the United Kingdom, uh, it's particularly uh, pleasant and it's a great privilege to be in, in, in Dublin. Ireland is taking over the mantle which was previously uh, held by the United Kingdom and Ireland. And the United Kingdom as a larger country uh, took on the bulk of it. And that means that there is a very, very great burden, I think it's fair to say, on Ireland now because the common law has a great deal to offer and I think most sensible civil law judges and lawyers accept that, even in Europe. Uh, and now that really falls to Ireland to defend and support. I hope uh, that machinery will be in place to enable United Kingdom lawyers and judges to help and support the Irish lawyers and judges in standing up for the common law in Europe. My experience of the Irish lawyers and the Irish judges means that the common law in Europe is in very good hands. I think it will inevitably involve a financial burden because checking on legislation, putting forward the common law concerns in the courts, putting them in, in particularly the Court of Justice, putting them forward in meetings of various EU bodies, obviously costs money because it involves people, it involves travel, it involves work, it involves research and that all costs money. There are a lot of people in the United Kingdom who are very sympathetic uh, to what Ireland will have to do and the burden that Ireland will have to take on. Those responsible for taking Ireland's role forward in this connection should talk to people in the United Kingdom who've been involved with it and I'm sure Certainly those judges I know, like the recently retired Lord Chief Justice John Thomas, like the about to retire uh, Supreme Court Justice Lord Mance, who've been very closely involved in developments in the EU, would be only too happy to talk and help, and I would be too.